The total value of mergers and acquisitions, M&A, deals completed by the UK financial services industry rose almost £15 billion in 2019, even though the number of such deals dropped considerably. According to data from Big Four Auditor A, financial firms completed £39.8 billion worth of deals last year, up from £24.9 billion in 2018. Read more. Financial sector contributed record level of UK tax in 2019. The substantial increase came despite the total number of deals falling from 236 to 211. The majority of the value was generated by a small number of extremely large deals, such as the London Stock Exchanges, LSE, £27 billion, £20.7 million, takeover of data firm Refinitive. Sector wise, banking deals were exclusively responsible for the value increase growing from £9.1 billion in 2018 to £30.7 billion this year, led chiefly by the LSE deal. Both the insurance and the asset management sectors saw decreases, from £11.8 billion to £7.3 billion and £4 billion to £1.8 billion respectively. Tom Grimm, Transactions Advisory Leader for A's UK Financial Services Division, said he was hopeful the decisive general election result would give firms more certainty over Brexit paving the way for firms to progress their growth plans in 2020. He said that sector's performance in 2019 was impressive in such a turbulent and uncertain year, and that further big-ticket deals should come as less of a surprise with the new majority government. However, he warned that it is too early to say if the Brexit headwinds that have plagued activity levels for some time are finally beginning to lift. The data showed that Brexit concerns had had a considerable impact on the sector with the value of deals done by non-UK firms acquiring UK targets halving, from £11.6 million to £5.5 billion, in 2019. Read more, LSE shareholders give green light for £27 billion refinitive deal There were also fewer cases of UK firms acquiring international targets, although value rose once again thanks to the LSE deal. Aside from Brexit, Groom said that major structural shifts such as the high costs of regulation, the onset of open banking, and tech investment opportunities would all impact financial services firms. For more on this story, visit the news article link.